guys, we are back with this week's new releases and I'm super excited because we have a ton of them this week. Like we have a ton of kits and exciting stuff coming out. So um, let's jump in with the two, we'll do the two monthly kits first. So we have two of the, we have the November monthly kits. There will be two this month, like usual. We have a photograph one and a clip art one. And yeah, we'll just jump in. I'm really excited. So these will also, when they sell out, because they probably they usually sell out the first go around, they will be restocked the first Friday of October. So they will be back. I always get that question. So here is the first kit, and this one is the clip art one. It's just really, really pretty. I think it's super cute. Very fall-esque and kind of a little bit Thanksgiving-y with Thanksgiving-y without being too much Thanksgiving. And um, a lot of you guys requested for me to bring back the kit from last last uh, November. Last November I was the, I forgot what it was called. It was just November monthly kit I think. And it was themed like this. This one's different, it got a little bit of a makeover, but I like it even more than last year's. So here is the first page. You have all of the top header parts. You have your happy Thanksgiving box here, which I think is super cute. And then here is the other side, so it says give thanks, and it has this cute little wiener dog, which you guys love the most from last year's one. And then you have the bottom date cover strip with the um, monthly overview for December. And then you have the different holidays, daylight savings time, election day, and veterans day. And then you have the next page, so you have all the icons and the sidebar and the little headers. And then you have the last page, which is this really pretty dark gray blue, like um, vacation strips. I think it's really pretty. Um, it's kind of like unexpected, but I think it stands out really nicely. So that is the um, Give Thanks November monthly kit. And here is the second November monthly kit. This one is just gonna be called Apple, and it's the Photograph monthly kit. So let's get into this one. This one I think is so pretty. This one reminds me of like baking an apple pie on Thanksgiving. Apple pie is my favorite kind of pie. So I don't know. It kind of made sense to me. And I kind of got tired of a little bit of pumpkins since I did pumpkins for October. I wanted to bring something else into November and I thought apples were perfect. So here is the first page. I love this font on here on November. It looks like a kind of like a hand scratch chalkboard type design. And then here's the Thanksgiving box. And then we have the second page, which across the other side, it says handmade with love. It has this rolling pin with some flour dusted on the um, wood. And I think that's super cute because, I mean, at some point, everyone's making something in things or in um, November, right? Like someone's making a pie, someone's making a turkey. I don't know. They're making something. So I figure it can apply to anybody. And then you have different holidays, the overview of the next uh, month, plus the little date covers. Then you have your icons and sidebar and then your last page with all the different stuff. So that is the Apple November Monthly, which I love. I think this one's my favorite. I love them both, but that one I think is my favorite. And then we also will have a $5 Friday this week. It's coming back. Um, so I'm really excited for it to be back. I don't know if I'm gonna have it every week yet, just because I am still still trying to catch up. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I've been very busy and I decided to release a lot this week. So um, this week though, it is back. So hopefully next week as well, or maybe the week after I might go to every other week again. That seemed to work pretty well. So this one though is countdowns and I showed this on Instagram and you guys seem very excited and I'm super excited as well because I've been thinking, man, I need a good countdown for the different holidays coming up. So this one will include three sheets for $5. So I decided to kind of do one for Halloween. So I did these candy corn ones, which I thought were cute. And they're kind of like mini countdowns because they only go up to two weeks. Um, out. It's not like a whole month, but I kind of like that because I feel like anything else is kind of far for me. So you have a Halloween type one with a candy corn, and then you have this one, which I kind of made to be more like Thanksgiving with the pumpkins, but it really could be all kinds of things. And then you have this cute little Christmas tree for the Christmas one. Um, it does have little like ornaments and stuff on it, but I guess you could always make this just like a winter countdown if there's something else that you're looking forward to, like picking up your Christmas tree maybe, or I don't know. I feel like you could do it for all kinds of things, you know? For like winter winter outdoor events maybe like a trip you're taking to the snow if that's kind of something you do something like that or you use this to like the pumpkin patch i don't know all kinds of things i feel like you could use these for so these will be up um as well on friday i decided to make it a gray 
color scheme because I wanted to be able to use them every week, you know, like every day in my planner, not have to worry about coordinating a kit with it or anything or being like standing out like a sore thumb. So I figured these were kind of more neutral. This one obviously has brighter candy corn, but I think it's okay for, you know, October. So that will be available. And then we have two new kits coming out, which is super exciting. I'm really excited for both of these. So the first one is Coffee Date, which is so cute. I really, really love this one a lot. Um, the most I've loved a clip art kit in a while. So here is the first page. You have all your headers and your hat boxes and weekend manner, and I love the colors of this kit. I think they're so, so stunning. And I love the um, pumpkins in these too. I think it's really pretty. And then you have the ombre check boxes with hearts and they have a little silver glitter outline on the hearts, which I think is so, so cute. And you have your functional page with your little things and all that doodads. And I think there's, I just love these colors so much. Like I'm just obsessed with them. And then you have the bottom washi, which has like the white wood background. And then it has this pretty floral arrangement over it. And one of the options for the washi is silver glitter. And I think it's so cute. I love the silver glitter touches in this kit. And then here are the full boxes, which obsessed with, completely obsessed with. Um, the full box says fall bucket list, bike ride, long walks, coffee date. And I think that's so cute. I feel like this would be super cute for like meeting up with a friend, like catching up around the holidays or, you know, I don't know, just spending a day outside that week in the fall time. I don't know. I love the bright, fresh colors of it. It's kind of like a unique take right thing for fall, but I really, really love it a lot. And how cute are these little puppies in front of the cafe? I like to think it's like a little puppy coffee date. <laughs> and then you have like the bike and then the umbrella. So I feel like this works well for fall, but something when you want a little bit of a brighter fall and you don't want like a really dark vampy kit, which is super fun, but sometimes you want something a little bit fresher. And then there will also be an a la carte sheet, ultimate sheet available, just like usual. We have the um, quarter boxes, you have the checklist, the gorgeous glitter headers, and then some fun deco, a little dog leash and some nail polish and coffee and pretzel and this little bouquet and bags for like shopping bags. I just think it's super fun. I feel like this would be really, really cute for like a girl's like shopping day or like coffee date, you know, just kind of catching up with someone. I think that'd be super cute. And then we also have the mini kit version, obviously. And here is the first page and you have like the little extra boxes here. Here's the first page. So, so cute. I think this one is so pretty. I just love this kit so much. And then your last page. So yes, that is coffee date mini kit version. And then the last new kit this week is autumn leaves, which is another photo kit which you guys seem to love. I, I'm obsessed with this one though. I do have to say I'm obsessed with this one so much. So here is the first page. You have the headers. This color scheme I think is so interesting. Like, I don't know, I'm just really interested in this color scheme because it's kind of like a sunset, like a sky, but it's also kind of reminds me of like retro Americana for some reason. So I just feel like this would be really, really great kit in um, like fall time or even around Thanksgiving if you don't want a very traditional like Thanksgiving kit. I think it'd be really good in November. For some reason, I just really feel like this would look so pretty. Just the colors are just so different. I don't know, it gives me very like retro vintage vibe. So here's the first page obviously, and I love the distressed lettering for the font on this one. I just think it's so, so cool. It gives more of that like old school road trip Americana kind of vibes to me. And then the weekend banner I changed up a little bit. I thought that one was super cool too. And yeah, so then here are the check boxes. I kept them very simple for this one just because these colors really like shown on their own, I thought. I thought they were really pretty. And then you have the functional page with all of your little things and all that stuff. And then the washi, which I love. And then these two, obviously the way you line them up will create kind of like a road going down the middle of your planner. So kind of just like creates like a scene across the bottom of the planner, which I thought would be so stunning. And then I love this kind of like coffee stacked washi and this barn one. I just thought those were so cool because if you want to stack them, you can make a really cool pattern up your sidebar or something or up a, um, up a full box, or you could break them up, but it's kind of like cool abstract type of textures and everything. And then you have two solid ones as well. And then the full box is so stunning. And then the quote box says, and all at once summer collapsed into fall, which I thought was very like poetic. <laughs> it's very pretty. And I love these little mason jars with tea lights and like, it's just so, so, so pretty. 
I don't know, I just love this kit. This kit really turned out gorgeous. And then here is the last page, the deluxe sheet, which also is really pretty. I just love this all. This kit is just so, so gorgeous. And then that is the full kit. So we also will have the a la carte ultimate sheet as well with the glitter headers. I did do glitter headers this time. I wasn't really sure, like I could have, I thought about doing wood, but I kind of felt like glitter might just look nice in this. It just might kind of pop a little bit more. And then obviously I didn't have deco in this one because it is a photograph kit, like you guys, as you guys know, I added in these extra um, appointment labels instead to fill that space. So it comes a little bit extra functional, which is fun. And then you have your um, checklist flags as well. And then we have the mini kit, which is the last item available this week. And it looks like this. So here is the first page, your little extra boxes. And then here is this one. So, so pretty. Something about this kit is just, I don't know, the colors are like kind of not what I would think, but like they end up working so well together. I just was pleasantly surprised by the direction it took. <laughs> and I think they just perfectly like match up with these boxes. So yes, I want to kind of more like this week, you could tell I kind of want a little bit more of like a fresher take on fall. Um, I feel like I've been doing a lot of like darker kind of vampier fall stuff or like I've been seeing a lot of that kind of thing and it's super pretty, but I kind of wanted to do something a little bit like different and fresher. Um, this week. So I hope you guys like these new releases. We have so many of them this week. It's kind of out of control. So let me know down below what you guys are thinking about picking up this week or what you are interested in. Um, the two kits will be restocked again next Friday if you miss them this week. And then the November monthly kits, like I said, will be stocked the first Friday of October. Um, that will be their restock in case you missed those. And yeah, so I hope you guys are having a fabulous week and I cannot wait for you guys to see these all in person. Oh my gosh, they're stunning. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.